Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and a uh, very interesting puzzle today. Now, if you like puzzles that involve croquis dots like today's, or indeed XVs, you should be getting our Domino Sudoku, which is available um, on our new app now. So uh, what is Domino Sudoku? It involves uh, basically those, croquis dots and XVs, because they're always connecting two cells that make them look like a domino. That's why it's called that. So if you've seen the name Domino Sudoku and you didn't quite know what it meant, uh, it really is these rules that we have very often on the channel with white and black dots, Xs and Vs. And this is a brilliant looking puzzle by uh, Gavin R, new to the channel. Welcome, Gavin. And uh, it's called Crocky's Ladder. As you, I mean, we, I think we can all see why. I'm going to have a go at that in a minute now. I am terrible at doing the birthdays, so there we go. Sorry to um, Horvard, who was 24 yesterday and who I didn't manage to remember, but Angie, who uh, Callum wanted to say happy birthday to, or wanted us to say happy birthday to. So there we go. Caught up with them. Now, today I need to wish Luke Fournier a happy birthday from Annabelle and uh, Fishy Soir from Jessa. Uh, Vichy Soir, you sound a bit like a soup to me, but that's Vichy Soirs, that's a bit different. Um, so anyway, very happy birthday to all of those. Uh, thank you for um, celebrating your birthday with us here at Cracking the Cryptic. We are very nearly, very, very nearly uh, five years old in terms of doing our first Sudoku. And uh, so it's nearly our birthday as well. Now, what have we got going on then? around the channel at the moment. We've got two days left um, on the Patreon page, uh, sorry, on the Patreon reward. So that is for the gen genuinely approachable Sudoku puzzle mix, uh, which has been running since the first of the month. Thousands and thousands of correct entries. They're still coming in. Thank you so much for the kind things you've said about the puzzles. Um, and I'm delighted so many of you have been able to get through them. Well done. We will also, for anybody who hasn't, be putting up a solution video uh, in a couple of days as well. So just as soon as that's closed down, we'll put up the solution video. Now also on Patreon, uh, either today or tomorrow, my monthly insane cryptic crossword solve will be going up. The vocabulary in those crosswords is absolutely mental. And... Um, it drives me a bit mental trying to solve them, to be honest. So that will be going up, uh, as I say, either today or tomorrow. And of course, you can look on the links under our video for the other apps and uh, for all of our links to Discord and uh, Patreon and so on and Sven Sudoku Pad. But this puzzle, as I say, will be the first link, Crocky's Ladder by Gavin R. And the rules are these. Normal Sudoku rules apply. That's one to nine in every row, column, and box, of course. White dots join consecutive digits, so we could have a three and a four there. Black dots join connect digits in a ratio of two to one, so we could have four and eight there, for instance. Not all dots are given. We are given one actual digit in the grid, which is a four. Uh, do give it a try. You can judge from the video length how hard it is. I am going to restart my clock and let's get cracking. So, black dots and clusters of them can be quite helpful. Now, this is not a useful cluster. It doesn't really tell us anything. I mean, there are only six Sudoku digits that can go on black dots because five, seven, and nine don't have complementary counterparts with a ratio of one to two amongst the Sudoku digits. So, that's all very well, but here, since they could be the same digit, we just don't get anything narrowed down. Now, here it's much better. Yes, these are all joined together. Um, okay, what I was going to say is that if you get things joined... Now, I know that that means none of these can be 3 or 6, and that is because the only digits 3 and 6 can join to are each other. And if you join 3 there to 6 there, you get 3 there. You're okay so far. You get 6 there, you're still okay. But now you have to put another three here, and that would clash with the three you started with here. There just aren't enough digits. So these must come from the others. They are from one, two, four, and eight. And that's going to give us a one, two, four, eight quad there, a one, two, four, eight quad there. Actually, this can't be a four. And that must be the same digit as this because of those two quads, which share three cells. So 
that's not a four either. Um, Right, so we've got a 1248 quad in this column 7. Yes, that uses up three of the even digits. Each pair on a white dot must use one even and one odd digit because the consecutive di digits will always be odd and even. So the even digit on this white dot must be 6. Right, and this, look, there are sequences of five white dots or five cells linked by white dots in three of these boxes. So what is this sequence? Yeah, hang on, it can't begin with a seven here because then you'd go seven, you'd have to go downwards because otherwise you'd run out going upwards to go seven, eight, nine. When I say a sequence, because of the nature of them all seeing each other by being within the same box, it must be a geometrical sequence. You can't double back because you'd repeat a digit. So it must go all up or all down as you head away from this cell. So it can't go down from seven and it can't go up from seven. If it went up from seven, it would reach 10 here. And if it went down from seven, it would reach four here. And that's not allowed. So that's not a seven. So it either goes six I'm going to put in the possibilities, 5, 4, 3, 2, or it starts with a 5. Now, starting with a 5, it could go up or down, I'm afraid. So we're left with three possibilities in each cell up here, which is more than is naturally helpful, I would say. Now, these others are also not 1, 2, 4, or 8. Um, Oh, but they also don't include six. Yeah, that's definitely true. Now, what about this to here? Right, this can't be a four. So it's five, six, seven or eight. Because it must touch this digit. Now, it's got to go downwards, this sequence, unless that's a five. If that's a five, I'm going to pencil mark this. It's, it's probably very pathetic of me. There's probably better deductive ways of doing that, but you know me, I like doing pencil marking. So if it's five, six, seven, or eight going downwards, this is four, five, six, or seven. Then this is three, four, five, or six. This is two, three, four, or five. This is one, two, three, or four. Actually, that's quite, quite a lot of possibilities. Um, Hmm. Okay, maybe I can narrow these down a bit better. Yes, okay, this can't go upwards. If that was five, six, seven, eight, nine, what would these be? They can't both be three. So it doesn't go upwards. So I can rule out those. So it definitely goes downwards. Right, now I'm onto it. So it's either 65432 or 54321. Now, one common digit to both of those, two common digits to both of those, are five and three. So that can't be three or five. That is a seven, nine pair. And now, this must be three. There's our first digit in the grid. And that is gonna knock out two of these sequences that I filled in here because of three. So this can't go four, three, two, one, and it can't be six, five, four, three, two either. Six, five, four, three, two. In fact, this can't be an eight now that that can't be a seven. Oh, so, oh no, be careful because it could still go up. So that can't be seven, that can't be six, that can't be five, that can't be four. Yeah, these are all still possible, but this, is now a six in both versions. Oh, in fact, that is not a six. And there has to be an even digit on this pair. So that's a six. Five, four. This is very nice. Look at that. That's a very neat sequencing job. Uh, hasn't told me anything about these. Right. Six, we've got five, seven pair there, but right. Okay, this is three or nine. So this is even, two, four or eight. 
and this is odd, and we could do the parity of all of these, but maybe I'll wait till we get a bit more information. Um, I mean, I've done too much over pencil marking already, I guess. So, six, five, seven, six, three, four, what's this? We've got a five. Ah, oh, no, look, this, this pair has to have an even digit, as I explained earlier. And look, it can't be six or four or two. So it's eight with either seven or nine. That's not eight now. So eight is there. This can't be eight. So now this can't be eight. This can't be eight because it's the same as this digit. Remember those two quads. Oh, <laughs> or just look up at the top of the grid where I've got an eight. And now eight must be in one of this pair. So that's a eight, four pair. That's a two, one pair. This can't be one. This can't be eight. I think that means there must be a two in that pair, but I no, it doesn't yet. Hang on. It doesn't mean that. One, two, six, four, eight. How come we're not finished? Um, I don't mean finished. I mean, how come we haven't... Ah, look, this... Ah, this can't have a four or a six on this black dot. So it can't be eight, four, or three, six, or four, two. So it's one, two. That then can be, I was going to say one, two, or four, but the given digit's helping with that. So again, this is a one, two pair. Those two are the same. One, two is looking at that cell, which now has to be four or eight. So this is two, four, or eight. I don't know more than that yet. One, two, five, four, six. Um, whatever this is has to be in one of these two cells in box five. No, let's let's look at this a bit more. Oh, look, one, one or two connecting to four or eight. That is very clear. Two, four. Sorry if you've been shouting that. So eight, four there, two here. In fact, that's all finished now. Right. One, eight, four, two. So there's a six in these cells. Um, how is that not helping more? It should be. Oh yes, two there means that's a four eight pair. Still don't know whether this is three or nine. Three, four, five, six, seven. I wonder if there's something very obvious going on. Probably is. Um, This is odd, isn't it? Three, five, seven, or nine. There's still quite a few possibilities. This is even. Ah, this is even and is two or six. If it's two, it's surrounded by one, three. If it's six, it's surrounded by five, seven. One, two, three, four, five is possible. It would have to be that way around, in fact. If that's a six, Uh, then it could go either way. That would be four or eight. In fact, this is four or eight, if that is two or six, which gives me another pair that I can't use. Hmm, strange. Oh, two is now this digit. So two appears in box five in one of those cells, and this becomes a one. I can do all of those. Um, two is up five, seven, six, four is in one of those two. Hmm, I'm being a bit, ah, uh, no, that's useless as an idea. This, whatever, one of these digits is in one of those cells and must also be in one of these. So these are from six, seven and nine. Four has to be in one of those two. two. Ah, two. Just Sudoku. Can't be there. And that's odd. So two is here. Right. So now we know which way this goes. One, two, three, four, five into the corner. That's a four. Four has to be next to three here. And now the whole thing is disambiguated. I've got almost every... I've just got 
two white dots to do virtually. Oh, hang on, there's this one. No eight there, so the eight on the dot is there. This must be a two eight pair now. This must be a one nine pair. That makes this seven. We can finish off with five and six in the row. One and nine, box six is finished. This is a three five pair, I can do them as well. Two goes there, surrounded by a seven nine pair. One in column two has to be there. Good old Sudoku again. And the others are six, seven, nine. That one can't be a six. Right, let's... Oh, there's no nine here. That's a six, seven pair now. Three, five, and nine down here. That can't be five. Hmm, kind of getting stuck again. Ah, oh, there's a four, five pair. Look at that, four, five pair in columns two and three. And that says you can't have four or five there. So they're a pair at the top. Seven, eight, nine are the other cells in the column. Three must be there in box one now. And in one of these positions, now, come on, what about this dot? It can't have a two or a four as its even digit. Ah, that's lovely. Because of this cell, it can't be six, seven. And it can't be six, five because of that. So its even digit is eight. So this isn't eight. And in fact, there are seven, eight, nine triple. So now I can do three and six here. Um, this is six or nine by Sudoku. Now, is there anything like that with this? I don't think there really is. No, there is. There is because of this cell. I mean, at least I know this can't have a four on it. I know it couldn't have a two on it and it can't have a four on it because it would have to be four, five because it can't be four, three, but it can't be four, five. That would break row two, column one. So this has a six or an eight on it, which isn't that interesting at the moment, but it's quite, it's quite neat logic, nonetheless. Um, now, there must be a 1 here, specifically. Oh, that's going to give me 1 and 9. That can't be 9. This can't be 9. 7, 6, 1, 2, 4. Oh. Um, 3. That must be here now, mustn't it? No, not necessarily. Four, five, one, two, three. Oh, strange, keeping up its resistance. Two, three, one, four, eight, seven. That's five, six, or nine. This, oh, has to be eight. Yes, it does. That's a six, seven, nine triple. Yeah, that's genuinely right. Okay, that's eight. That's eight. Now, eight's in one of those three cells. Odds are it's on the uh, white dot, but we don't know that. This is six, seven, or nine. Hmm. Okay. Now, eight there, we knew eight. That's how we got eight there, because eight had to be on this dot. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? This, this just isn't giving up. Three or nine here. Five, eight, or nine there. Now, come on, I must be able to do something here. If this was, ah, this can't be six, seven, because that would be nine and that couldn't be filled. It could be nine, eight. It could be eight, seven. Can it be six, five? Yes, <laughs> bother. Okay, that's not where to focus extraordinarily. None of these are two or four. A two or four are a pair in this box. Since that can't be four, they are. They are a pair, they're up there. So I got this by achieving a sextuple by pencil marking those cells. There's probably a much neater way of getting that, but that's how I do it. So the two four pairs looking at that cell, we get a five there. That's gonna fix a lot of things actually. 
nine there, three, seven. This must resolve what this is now. Let's just get rid of all the markings. We've got five, six, and eight, and the consecutive pair there is five, six. Wow, that's so, that's so elegant, actually. In fact, we know which way around five, six goes. We know which way around two, four goes. I think we're finishing off now. That's been a very clever puzzle, actually in a very neat arrangement at the beginning and it works absolutely perfectly. Now, this is a seven, eight pair. Yes, I know which way around they go. Six and nine down here. Then we've got three, five, nine in the bottom row and this should be a five. And there we go, that is Kropke's Ladder and a very nice puzzle that is. Not too hard, but just a little bit of intricate thought near the beginning. And I mean, it helps to have done crop key puzzles before and know about the the one two four eight group and the three six group and so on but that's good fun uh thanks very much i hope you had a go at that thanks for watching as always on the channel and engaging with us really hope to see you again next time bye for now